I am going to demonstrate some of the capabilities of the JSON RPC relay. This relay was designed as an on-ramp to the Hedera Hashgraph public ledger for existing users of Ethereum and other Ethereum-compatible networks. This demo shows two accounts, Alice and Bob, which both use MetaMask as their wallet. I will show a simple HBAR crypto transfer between these accounts. I will show a fungible token transfer between these accounts. And I will finish by showing a simple voting dApp used by Alice to make smart contract calls to Hedera that are signed by her MetaMask wallet. To begin with, Alice needs to set up her MetaMask wallet to work with Hedera. If she selects this dropdown at the top, she can add a new network. She will enter a name. It can be any name, but she will use Hedera. She will then put into this new RPC URL field the URL of her preferred JSON RPC relay. MetaMask asks for the chain ID, which for this network is 298. And if she gets the value wrong, MetaMask warns her. Finally, she can enter any currency symbol of her choosing. She will call it HBAR. Then click Save, and she has configured her MetaMask wallet to work with Hedera. Now I'm going to bring up HashScan, which is Swirls Lab's hosted Hedera Network Explorer. I will enter Alice's account ID into the search field. I can see that Alice has about 1,840 HBAR and about 13,370 TFT2 tokens or coins. I will now bring up Alice's MetaMask wallet on Firefox that we just configured. We can see that the wallet correctly shows the amount of HBAR in Alice's account, but does not yet show her TFT2 balance. I want to also check the balance of Bob's account in Hashscan. I will enter his account into the search field. We can see that Bob has almost 109 HBAR in his account, but no TFT2 coin. Let's open Bob's wallet in Google Chrome. We see that Bob's wallet correctly displays the exact same amount of HBAR as Hashscan. Alice has a lot more HBAR than Bob, and feeling generous, she decides to send 99 HBAR to Bob. So, in her wallet, she clicks send, selects Bob, enters 99 as the amount of the transfer, and then verifies the transfer details. Satisfied that they are correct, she confirms the transaction. At this point, MetaMask signs the crypto transfer and sends it to the JSON RPC relay, which then sends the transaction on to the Hedera network. Almost instantly, the transaction completes, and we see a new record appear in Hashscan. MetaMask pulls the JSON RPC relay and eventually shows the results of the transaction in both Alice and Bob's wallets. We can go through the same steps to send some HBAR back from Bob to Alice. Let's add the TFT2 token type to both Alice and Bob's wallets. In MetaMask, you do this by selecting Assets, and then Import Tokens. We enter the contract address of the token type into MetaMask, and instantly see the TFT2 token type and decimal information populated in the UI. MetaMask has gone to the JSON RPC relay and asked it for the information on this token type 
based on the contract address, and the relay has recovered this information from the mirror node. We can see that Alice has 13,370 TFT2 coins, and Bob has none. Once again, Alice decides to send some to Bob. She decides to send 1,000 TFT2 coins to Bob. In the same way that she sent HBAR, she can select Bob as the recipient, enter the amount of TFT2 to send, review the results, and confirm the transaction. Once again, MetaMask sends the signed transaction to the JSON RPC relay, which sends it to Hedera. And after a few seconds, MetaMask receives confirmation of the transfer and shows the results in both Alice and Bob's wallets. Alice decides it is time to place a vote for her favorite user's account in a voting app. This dApp was not developed for Hedera. It is an Ethereum demo application on GitHub that we did not modify in any way for Hedera. It uses web3.js to create transactions and MetaMask for signing and submitting them. When the app is first opened, Alice will use this connect button to tell the app to connect with her wallet. She then clicks this button to start voting. This button is going to call a method on the smart contract deployed to Hedera. So the app will create a transaction and send it to MetaMask, which prompts Alice to sign and send this transaction. When Alice sends it, MetaMask sends it to the relay, which forwards it on towards the Hedera network. We can see here in the UI the transaction the dApp sent and the receipt it got back from the relay, and we can see the status is one, meaning success. Alice can now select an account she wants to vote for and add her vote. This again calls a method on the smart contract running in Hedera. So a transaction is created and MetaMask prompts for it to be signed. Once again, it is sent to Hedera through the relay. And once again, it succeeds. Alice can check her vote by clicking the check vote button. This will place a contract call query, which does not need to be signed. So MetaMask does not present a signing UI for Alice. Alice decides she wants to change her vote. So she clicks remove my vote which once again calls the smart contract. Then she once again checks her vote and sees that it has been cleared. She decides on a new vote and places it. Once again, signing a transaction that calls the smart contract on Hedera. She checks her vote one more time and can see it has been placed successfully. We just saw how the JSON RPC relay enables Ethereum dApps to work with Hedera by deploying standard EVM smart contracts to Hedera and using standard Ethereum libraries like Web3.js and standard Ethereum wallets like MetaMask to work with Hedera accounts and smart contracts. We saw the ability to transfer HBAR and fungible tokens using MetaMask and the JSON RPC relay. And we saw how to configure your MetaMask wallet to be able to use a JSON RPC relay to talk with the Hedera network.